Hi, I'm Coach Cheyenne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about how you put your golf bag on your push cart. If you are new to golf and you have just bought one of these and you have no idea how it opens or where things go, I am here to show you how to do it. Let's get started. If you haven't watched my video last week, I told you how to arrange your golf bag, what all the compartments mean, where your driver goes, towel, water bottle, all of that. Now, how do we get this golf bag on here? But you're wondering, what is this contraption and how do I make it look like a push cart? So let me show you how. Every push cart will be different but you need to try and understand there has to be some release somewhere. So in this push cart, I have this up here, which releases the main handle. Look at this, looks like a Tesla car, doesn't it? With the, with the doors opening up. This is my Tesla right here. So I have my release, which is this knob over here. So I would have to push up and tighten my knob over here to make it nice and secure. So now this no longer will drop. I The other piece that I have is I have this wheel out here that needs to release somehow. So I need to find the knob for that. So here is that knob. I will turn as far as I can and this second part of my Tesla releases and then I turn the knob. So as of right now, this is what my push cart looks like. I'm shopping and I'm coming back. So here is my push cart. Let's quickly go through what this specific push cart has. I have an area up here which opens and shuts. I'll show you what I put in here. Pencil, I have a little compartment up here. Holds, Velcro and Velcro. First things first, let's get the golf bag on here. This a lot of you have trouble with and you can see this little piece doesn't want to pay attention golf bag grab your handle you have two handles one over here and one on top of your golf bag let me show you this way so i have a handle up here and i have a handle back here what we want to do is these legs we want the legs to go first so I pick my golf bag and so your golf cart doesn't go sliding off. It'll always have a break. I have a little um, a lever over here and this lever, if I push up, my golf bag doesn't go anywhere. So you need to push this up or it'll go sliding and you'll go on your face. So I have my golf bag here, grab both the handles, use my knees, pick it up. The feet go first and just try and get it to balance. We need to pay attention to is this, this releases the legs on the golf bag. This needs to be tucked and end up over here so the legs don't release. So I need to reshuffle my bag to where that comes to the middle. It might take you a few shuffles. There we go. So you can now see that that piece that releases the legs is now trapped here. It has nowhere to go. Once I've done that, I grab both sides and I need to secure the base of the golf bag. So mine's Velcro. I pull really tight, making sure that the strap is on the bottom. Pull really tight and Velcro. So the base of my golf bag is secure fully secure down here now we're moving on up we move up we make sure that it sits see how it has a little area up here we're making sure my golf bag my legs sit in there i have velcro again key this velcro needs to go through the handle that i had earlier some people like to have their towel tucked underneath some like to have access to their towel up top completely up to you. I will tuck mine so it's not going flying around everywhere. Velcro. And you're just gonna pull as hard as you can because we don't want your golf bag going flying off your push cart. 
So let's just give it a quick try to make sure my bag doesn't go flying anywhere. I jerk it a couple of times just to make sure, but I'm shopping and we're back. <laughs> now let me tell you how I would organize my push cart. I had my water bottle here, but guess what? I have a spot in my golf bag for my water bottle. So I will be taking full advantage of that. The golf tees that I had, I had them in my previous video that you, I know you've watched. I've put my golf tees in here. I had my ball marker in here and my divot tool for easy access because those are the three things we'll use a lot on the golf course. Come back here for easy access. I will put my golf tees in here just so there it's very, very fast for me to grab them when I'm on the first tee box as well as these usually go in your back pocket but if you want you can always place them in here i would have them to be honest in my back pocket scorecard my golf cart has this right here for the scorecard which i'll stick right in there a lot of people put their cell phones over here you're not supposed to have your cell phone on the golf course especially if you're in a private country club they do not let you have access on the course answering phone calls and you just should try and put it away so you can relax and enjoy the game but if you have to have it you would put your cell phone up in here as well and any extra little bits that you have can go right in here snack you can put that in there too that is as you please whatever you would like over there always making sure that I have sealed and locked my golf cart so I'm walking I have to pull out a club, I lock my golf cart, cart, grab my iron, and then I'm hitting. And please remember, if you haven't watched my video on golf etiquette, your golf cart goes to the right, your ball should be over here, and then you swing and hit. You should not be placing your golf cart to the left of your ball and then swinging and smashing and hitting your golf cart. That is a whole separate video, which I'll also have at the end of this video for you to have access, which is golf course etiquette, which we all need to know. I know it's a beautiful sunny day here today in Vancouver, but we get a lot, a lot, a lot of rain. So to protect your golf clubs, you all will receive this little hood for your golf bag and how you protect your clubs. So if I have my golf bag hood, I throw it on top of all my clubs. Just have to get it right on top. The most important part is securing it. So if you come closer, you'll see that mine has Velcro and I have these little buckles that they have built where I would just go ahead and clip. So all the way, or some golf bags have clips where you have like a button and you would put your button and you would button it. But mine has Velcro, which I absolutely love. So if I don't find where they have it, I would just make it go in here like that. Ta-da! That is how you put the hood on your golf bag. Time to put your golf bag in your car and go home. Ready to go home. I hope this video helped you on how you put your golf bag 
onto your push cart and how you strap it nice and tight, making sure if it's raining, you always have your little hood to protect your clubs in your bag at all times. If you liked it, make sure to click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed by now, make sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.